What's up my friends, welcome back! If you're watching this video, I'm sure that you like electronics. And maybe you already have some electronics projects on your to-do list. And I'm also quite sure that if you are an electronic hobbyist, you do have a multimeter in your workshop. And if not, you're close to buy one. You can find different types of multimeters. The most common are the voltage, resistance and current meter. You could find this one in any electronic store. There are also some more complex multimeters. Some of them can measure inductance, magnetic fields, capacitance or even FM frequencies. In a few words, a multimeter is one of the most important tools in an electronic workshop. Today I want to show you how to build one using the Arduino microcontrollers. In this case we will use Arduino Nano. Arduino Nano is also a very powerful tool. It's a small microcontroller with 8 ADC, 16 MHz frequency and a lot of digital pins as well. We could use all these features to build our multimeter. So this is my idea. I want to show you step by step how to build the resistor meter, the capacitance meter, current and power meter and finally the inductance meter. We will mount each circuit separately and try to explain all the basic concepts that we used and also the equation used for different measures. First we will see the resistance meter schematic. This is a very easy circuit based on a voltage divider. After that we will see how to measure capacitance. Once we are done with that we will mount the current and power meter using an external shunt resistor. Finally we will build the inductance meter based on a resonant circuit. Remember you can find all the extra information on my webpage and all the schematics, codes and examples in the video description. So let's get started. In this video we will see how to build the resistance meter. All we need are some resistors, wires and the Arduino Nano. In order to see the measured values we will use an LCD screen. I will use this I2C module LCD screen that I bought from eBay. This will reduce the amount of used pins to just two, data and clock. We will use a basic voltage divider to calculate the resistance. As you all know, a voltage divider is made of two resistors in series. We will call those resistors R1 and R2. R2 is connected to ground and R1 is connected to an input voltage and to R2 as shown in this schematic. This is an equation for this voltage divider. The equation says that the output voltage between the two resistors will be the input multiplied by the division between R2 and the sum of R1 and R2. That's why it's called a voltage divider because it divides the input voltage depending on the two resistor values. So for example, if R1 is 1K ohm and R2 is also 1K ohm and we apply 5 volts as the input, we obtain half of that voltage at the output. But in our case we don't want to know the output voltage because we could measure that using one of the Arduino's ADCs. What we want to know is the resistance of one of the resistors. So using the same equation we could obtain the value of R1 depending of R2 as shown here. We know all these values so we can easily obtain R1. The input voltage will be 5 volts from the Arduino and R2 will have a predefined value. All we need to do is measure the output voltage with one of the Arduino ADC. With all this data we could obtain the unknown value. Ok, so now we know the basic of the circuit that we will use, but there is a problem. Using just one voltage divider it would be impossible to measure a full range of resistance values. That's why I will use 4 different fixed resistors for 4 different ranges. I will use a 2K ohm resistor to measure resistor from 0 to 2K ohms. A 20K resistor for a range between 2K and 20K ohms. A 200K ohms resistor for a range between 20K and 200K ohms. And finally a 1 mega ohm resistor for values between 200K and 1 mega ohm. To change the scale you could use switch buttons or a rotary switch. So this is the final schematic that we are going to build. These are the 4 fixed resistors connected to 4 digital pins and to a common point with the unknown resistor. 
In order to make those pins as ground, we will have to define the pin as output and switch it to low. We also have to define the not used pins as inputs, in order to give them high impedance to be sure that they won't affect the selected voltage divider. So for example, if we use this 2K resistor for 0 to 2K ohm scale, we will have to define the digital pin 5 as output and switch it to low, and all the other pins as input. In this way the only active circuit is from the unknown resistor to the 2K resistor to digital pin 5 which in this case will be defined as ground. The other pin of the unknown resistor is connected to the digital pin 2 which will be switched to high in order to apply 5 volts when wanted. All we need now is to measure the voltage drop at the common point and we will do that with analog pin A0. We connect the I2C pins of the LCD to analog pin 4 and 5 which are data and clock. Supply 5 volts as well. Supply 5 volts to the rotary switch and connect 4 pins of the switch to digital pins 9, 10, 11 and 12. Also connect a 1K ohm pull down resistor to those pins. All we need now is to upload this code. First, we import the LCD library. In order to use an I2C communication with this LCD, you should install the I2C Liquid Crystal library. There is a link in the description for that. Download the zip file, then go to Sketch. Include library and add zip library in order to install it. Now we define our pins and all the variables. We start the screen, the serial communication and define the pin mode for each pin. Now we select the scale depending on one of the four pins of the rotary switch. We measure the voltage drop and calculate the resistance. Finally we print the values to the LCD screen. We do the same for all the scales. That's it! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question ask them in the comment section below or on my Q&A page. Stay tuned for the next capacitance, current and inductance meters videos. Those will be online soon. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe in order to motivate me for more videos like this one. Thanks again and see you later guys.